All right, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been quite some time since I posted on here, probably about like three or four years, but nevertheless, we're back. A lot of exciting things have happened since I last posted on this channel. Last year I signed with Adidas 510 and Adidas Terex. It's been uh, quite the life-changing opportunity. I got to travel the world last year and participate in a bunch of events and contests that I've always kind of wanted to, but never really had the means with work and everything to, to get out there and and uh it's just been been an awesome experience thus far and i'm super super excited to see what the future holds something i kind of always wanted to do with the channel was sit down and do an official bike check where i kind of talk about everything i ride kind of give you guys some insight on what i like to ride and why i like to ride it let's get right into it let's start with my frame this is my signature fiend bmx varanac frame this is actually the third version of my signature frame. This is the V3. This just dropped recently. Uh, it comes in three colors, the blue. We have a green that I'm really excited to build up. I'm gonna build it up after I'm done riding this one. Uh, and it also comes in black. Uh, the changes from the V2 to the V3, two major changes uh, that we made all to the back end of the bike. Number one being tire clearance. Not sure how well you guys can see from there, but we added a bunch of tire clearance to the back end, mainly because I got these new signature rims from Premium BMX. We'll talk about those in a second. But they make your tire a lot wider regardless of the size of the tire. So needed some more tire clearance. We were able to get that done by changing the bottom tube, uh, the, the shape of the actual tubing here. It gives us a bunch more clearance. You know, you don't have to worry about your wheel shifting and rubbing when you're grinding ledges and whatnot. Between the extra added clearance down here and the chain tensioners, you shouldn't really ever have a problem. Uh, we also changed the dropouts. Uh, the angling of the dropouts is a little bit different, which allowed us to bring this tube up slightly. Um, and what this does is just give you a bit more grind clearance down here, less likely to rub your frame on ledges and rails. This idea actually came from Garrett. He came up with this idea to do it to his frame and he was uh, nice enough to allow me to make those changes to my new frame as well. Aside from those geometry changes, really just new art, new colors. Uh, still have the signature Fiend BMX swirl that Eben Fisher designed. Gonna keep this pretty much forever. I really like the way this looks. Uh, we changed the Varanax swirl, and now that's on the bottom tube. Really like how this came out, and we added a V3 swirl to the seat tube. So I guess we'll just start from the front of the bike and, uh, and work our way back. Uh, starting with the front wheel, tires i am running the premium ck tires never really have any issues with flats or pinch flats overall just a solid solid tire all of premium's new wheels will come laced to uh, my signature varanac rim as you can see on the front and the back cool thing about this rim super 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 wide um, what this does is give you a lot of surface area on your tire. You don't really have the tire bulging on the side and it just creates this awesome round, clean look. Visually, I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed with the aesthetics. The only downside to these rims is you can't run brakes. <laughs> so they're like an official street rim. But again, that's, that's how I like it. It looks super clean, super strong. I haven't had any issues with bending these rims or, or them folding. These are out now. Uh, in the rear, I'm running a right-hand drive free coaster, just the traditional free coaster. It also comes in the planetary version and cassette, right-hand and left-hand drive, depending on whatever your preferences are. Definitely make sure you guys cop yourself a pair and uh, tag me on Instagram. Let me know. Let me know how you like them. Moving on to the pegs. I am running four plastic premium pegs. Uh, nothing special. I've been running plastic pegs for some some time now. Uh, also, the wheels, they come standard with plastic hub guards. It's another thing that I'm really excited about. In the past, I've had wheels without hub guards growing up and I would just destroy the rim grinding on the spokes. It also comes in the back. We have drive side and non-drive side hub guards. You don't have to worry when you're, when you're out in the streets. Uh, this fork is actually a sample fork. These aren't out yet. Uh, this is going to be my signature premium fork. Decided to go with a 20 millimeter offset. I personally like 20 millimeters. I've ridden everything from 15 all the way up to 32, experimented a bunch with different offsets. And I, I really just feel like this is right in the middle. It's nice and responsive for a lot of the street moves I wanna do, but I also have some stability when I'm going a little bit faster, riding transition or just going fast in the streets. They're in vest cast, solid. Haven't had any issues with them, taking a bunch of drops, holding up great. Moving on to the stem. This is the Fiend Reynolds stem. 
Uh, traditionally, I run a top load stem, but Premium didn't have any low profile top load stems like I like to ride. We're actually in the process of making one now. It's going to be my signature stem. So be on the lookout for that. It's actually going to be an inverse stem, so you can flip it upside down and right side up. Reason being, it gives you more range of bar height without having to actually get new bars or, you know, cut your forks. You can flip your stem up and down, and I think it's like a half inch difference. So between that, changing spacer heights, you have a wide variety of, of uh, a stack height. You can adjust your bars to all different levels and, and really figure out what works for you. Coming from somebody who's experimented a bunch right now, I'm running 9.25 bars. Uh, I used to run nine and a half bars with the top load. I was running a, a front load with nine inch bars at one time. You know, I, I like to switch it up and, and uh, experiment with different things. Right now I'm, I'm running these premium team bars. They are 9.25. Uh, normally, I run the CK bars because they come pre-cut. You don't have to do anything to them, but uh, due to short supply because of COVID, this is all we had. So, you know, running these super solid bar, no issues. Running the Fiend Team grips, uh, I tend to switch between these and the premium CK grips, just kind of whatever I have on hand. Always running bar ends. Make sure you guys always have your, your bar ends plugged up. Very, very, very important. Uh, moving on to the middle of the bike. Oh, also premium headset. Yeah, let's start with the seat. This is my signature Fiend BMX seat. It's a uh, perforated leather. It's got my signature swirl up at the top. You can stick the Allen key in there and tighten her down. Nothing fancy, nothing special. Premium pivotal seat posts. Moving on down to the pedals. I am running premium slim plastic pedals. I like that the pedals are slim. It allows your feet to be just a little bit closer to the ground. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with my geometry on my signature frame, I have 11 and a half inch bottom bracket. It's the lowest one I think that Fiend makes, but it's still tall enough that you can do crooked grinds and switch crooked grinds without rubbing. But just in case you do slip off your grinds, I'm running the Palmer Fiend sprocket with a sprocket guard. I just like it. It saves spots. You know, when you, when you slip off and you chunk up a ledge with your, with your sprocket and your chain, it's never a good feeling. So sprocket guard, really good for, for spot preservation. So let's talk about cranks, man. These are actually, you can tell these things are pretty old and pretty beat up. These are a sample set of Fiend BMX 155 millimeter cranks. Um, I know it's very, very, very short, shorter than I'm sure anybody rides. We got these samples a couple years back, me and Garrett, just to see how we liked them. And I, I kind of fell in love. I think he actually switched back to the 160s, but me having such a short rear end, it kind of gives me a little bit of room with my back foot and the back peg. I don't really have to worry about my heel dragging. And I like my feet closer together. I feel like I'm a lot more balanced. So yeah, 155 cranks. I'm going to pretty much ride these until I can either get another set or I'm um, forced to switch to the 160s. Um, chain, just running premium half-link chain. Moving on back to the back of the bike, we have premium plastic pegs. Again, these wheels come standard with a drive side and a non-drive side hub guard. Super excited about this. Actually, when I, <laughs> when I was a kid, I bought a brand new wheel. It was one of the first parts I ever bought. Brand new back wheel cassette. I think it was like an Odyssey hazard. I don't even remember what the wheel was, but I went riding and I rode this bank to guardrail setup right down the street from my house. Um, did a bunch of ice pick stalls, was super excited, and then all of a sudden my wheel stopped spinning so good. And what happened is the, the hub got completely destroyed for me stalling on the guardrail without any protection. So really excited these wheels come standard with hub guards now. It's super beneficial and it keep your wheels lasting a lot longer. I like to run my back wheel pretty much all the way at the end. Uh, for a while I was running it slammed. But, you know, when I'm riding transition and I'm riding fast, I like a little bit more stability. And I found that if I run my frame, like right at the end, it's a little bit longer than like 13, which it's solid for me. You know, I, I don't have to worry about looping out, but still nice and responsive. You now really, really obsessed with this frame. You know, I've been testing and, and, and riding different frames for, you know, the greater part of the last decade. And uh, I think I finally have it all figured out. You know, this is pretty much everything I want in a frame. Aside from that, there's not really too much that I customize on my bike. I did cut these bars down to about 27, 27 and a half inches. Uh, but like I said, I normally am running the Chad CK bars. They come pre-cut, so I don't have to worry about doing anything like that. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. That's my, that's my bike. Bottom bracket, premium. And uh, I think that's, I think that's pretty much it.
Shout out to all you guys that are still subscribed to the channel. I know it's been quite some time since I've been active on here, but I'm going to try to post some how to's and just little tricks and tips and, and stuff that I'm, I'm excited to give back now that I have a bit more free time. Yeah. Comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see. And yeah, look forward to uh, getting back on here, posting a bit more <laughs> later guys.